Welcome, this is UH Warrior Spotlight. I'm your host, Travis Ross. We have a very special guest today, Brett Leonard, starting left guard for the University of Hawaii football. Um, Brett, how's it going? It's going good, Travis. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. Um, I understand you come from a very small town. Let's, let's talk about that. Yeah, Hollister, California, a really small town in Northern California, not too many people know about, you know. Coolest thing to do during the week is Friday nights, high school football. Everyone that goes there, it's a the place to be. Um, I see here you're, uh, you went to two different junior colleges. Um, let's talk about that and your transfer process and, and uh, why you chose University of Hawaii. Yeah, coming out of high school, you know, didn't really have any offers. It's a small town, not too many people recruited our high school. So tried out one JC, not too far from home, and then uh, kind of figured out if I wanted to play with the best teams in Southern California, I should go down there. And, competition level down there is just a whole different story so went to Saddleback in Mission Viejo, California and uh, enjoyed my time there. Got offered a scholarship to Hawaii, took a visit and committed on the spot. Um, you've lived here for three years. Um, besides school and football, how, how do you like Hawaii? Yeah, you know, pretty special place. It's definitely, you know, when I go home to Hollister people think Hawaii, man, you're, it's awesome. You live in Hawaii, you live in paradise. And, you know, come back out here and you realize that it definitely is paradise and everything you expected is what it is and uh, football wise the atmosphere is ridiculous you come out here you know you got screaming fans at Aloha Stadium you know everywhere you walk here in the paper people will be like hey man you're the guy from UH football I know you and uh, just the atmosphere of being the only football program on the state is special in itself no pro football teams no other college football teams just University of Hawaii Warriors um, you guys just wrapped up your fall camp, and your main focus has been on University of Colorado. First, uh, how did how did fall camp go? Uh, fall camp went real well, you know, from an offensive line standpoint. We had some guys go down, but the left side has been pretty solid with myself and Clayton Laurel, and then uh, our center has been the same guy, Sila Rafiti. Right guard, there's been some shuffling, but, you know, comes with it. You just kind of have to expect the next guy to step up and take over. Last year you guys played University of Colorado, uh, you guys lost to them. How are you guys going to redeem yourself this year? Yeah, you know, last year we were at their place and they got us. We came out strong, we put up some points, you know, moved the ball real well on offense and then uh, halftime came and it was just a totally different game. Their defense came out and stopped us pretty well and their offense came out and put up points. And uh, I don't know what it was, but they came out as a better team in the second half and took it to us, so they won. What is your expectations and the team's expectations? Well, you know, you know, no I in team, so I put my expectations with the teams. You know, we fully expect to go undefeated and make it to BCS and that kind of stuff. But it all starts this weekend, Saturday. Okay. Uh, Colorado coming to us. I know this is probably a question you you don't want to answer, but if you were just to pick one person that's going to have a breakout year, just one person on the team, who, who would it be? Yeah, that's besides that's, yourself. That's tough, you know. A lot of people have criticized the offensive line for not coming together yet, but we'll be fine. And then uh, our four captains, all of them have been walk-ons, and they're all battle-tested. They've came through and proved themselves, and uh, you know, I'll follow any of those guys in the battle. But I think the main guy would definitely be Bryant Moniz, you know. Not really a come-out, but last year he came out, put up ridiculous numbers, and, you know, he's the leader of our offense, and we'll follow that guy anywhere. He's a terrific athlete. Um, who are your four captains? Right now on the offense, we got Royce Pollard, receiver. You know, he's been in the program. He was a walk-on, earned his spot. Played a lot last year behind, uh, you know, complimented Greg Salas and Carol Lowe out real well. And uh, like I said, Moniz, definite leader of offense, you know, battle-tested, like I said. And then uh, defense, we got Corey Paredes. He was a captain last year, and, you know, he has everyone's respect. The guy played last year almost the whole season dinged up, and he battled through it. And uh, Richard Torres, another guy, walk-on. You know, everyone thought he was a little too small to play college football, but you can't judge that guy because his heart's huge and he comes through when he needs to. He's definitely a guy people respect. Football is obviously your life. What do you plan on doing after University of Hawaii? Yeah, football is my life. You know, it's my passion in life. It's what I love to do. And, uh, you know, right now the focus is football, but I'm going to keep playing football until I can't play anymore. So I already have my degree in psychology. I already graduated. So after this... Uh, Upcoming season, go back home, train, try to do the NFL thing, see what happens, and then after that, you know, maybe go back to school, get my master's. I'm not sure yet, but like I said, right now the primary focus this Saturday, 4:15, Colorado Buffaloes. 
You heard him, guys. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for stopping by, Brett. Thanks. This is UH Warrior Spotlight. I'm your host, Travis Ross. See you next time. Going, everyone. Ah! All right, let's just just run it. What? How am I starting it again?